Hey guys. Or should I say, uh, hello guardians. Just because today's theme is uh, destiny. As I'm sitting here drinking my daily dose of tea, uh, I don't know man, it's just... I'm enjoying Destiny 2, that's clear. And it feels so much like Diablo 3, it's scary. And I'm not talking about the similarity only in the gameplay or the design or whatever. No, no, no. I'm talking about the launch of Diablo 3 in comparison to currently Destiny 2. So, in Diablo 3, when it launched, the game was amazing. Mechanically and gameplay-wise, Diablo 3 was a ton of fun. I really loved it. It was, for someone who didn't play that much action RPG games, it was something new and it was something exciting. And I cannot call myself a game critic. I am just your average of average player. It's I'm that guy who's just, you know, happily playing games who can accept errors, can accept bugs, can just work with those things and uh, I do not notice these things right away. But in Diablo I started noticing these things. As I'm playing, I just go and, uh, go and try to reach Inferno at the time, Inferno difficulty. And it was hard. I was watching streamers who were in Arc 3 of Diablo and I could never reach that. And I started thinking, is this normal? Am I supposed to be this weak? Especially since I'm playing a long... Uh, I'm putting a lot of time in Diablo 3. So what's the problem here? I don't understand. Of course, I go and look and I see the same things people are complaining about for a while now. And it appears that it wasn't just my feeling. It's the game who was in an abysmal state. Such an abysmal state at the time that someone like me noticed. And as I started reading, it all makes sense. The game's difficulty was too much. And the gear we were getting was not good enough, the stats were not good, the, there was some mighty, might, mighty problematic bugs that resulted in us dying. That There are some abilities that didn't work at the time, like, I don't know, you try to cast smoke screen as a demon hunter and it doesn't work and you end up dying against Belial, for example, and many, many problems. And, which is all okay, it's part of a game, for example, let's say, it's alright, it happens, and the biggest issue that is similar to Diablo uh, in Destiny 2 is that at the time, there was this guy called Jay Wilson, who was the developer in charge of Diablo 3, and that guy kept dismissing the community's concern, he kept saying the game is perfect and this is his best launch ever he kept brushing off uh, our, our outcries and calls for change and everything and the community grew really angry at the time now luckily luckily well before i get to the luckily part the game was such in a horrible state and facing with the thing that Mr. J. Wilson didn't want to fix the game at the time, that Blizzard thought that before they can fix the game they have to release a major content, which was of course the expansion. That's when they decided to make the biggest changes. They got rid of the auction house. And speaking of the auction house, I mean, even someone like me, yet again, didn't go play Diablo at the time, I was playing the auction house. All I did is spend 2-3 hours on the auction house and like half an hour or an hour trying to play the game. And every 2 seconds I go back to the auction house and see if I get something. I always look at new gear, maybe there's an opportunity for me. 
I could not play the game. I was not playing Diablo. I was playing the auction house. Many of my friends who were playing Diablo t at the time with me were doing the same thing. One of my friends never played Diablo 3, he only played the auction house. He just came in, got into the auction house and he kept selling and buying and everything. And that's not how a game supposed to work. And of course, when the new expansion came, the auction house was gone and the issue or the reason why there was such a big change in Diablo 3 was because they got rid of Jay Wilson. It was causing way too much problems and he was not listening to the community that thankfully Blizzard decided to replace him. And he was replaced with Josh Mascara, who was amazing to be honest. He brought so much goodness to Diablo 3. And right now, the game is perfect. And the thing is, people are still buying the game. There's like the Necromancer pack who came only recently, and I'm certain a ton of people bought the Necromancer pack. That's because the game was in a great state. I mean, they could have created something similar to Path of Exile, for example, where they have an auction, uh, not an auction house, sorry. Um, a cosmetic shop where people could put in money to support the game. But Blizzard didn't want to do that. They just wanted you to pay once for the game and its content is completely free, which I completely understand and accept. There is some sort of a shop in China, but that's for the Chinese people. It's something specific to them. They have wings, they have many things they can buy because they can buy. It's something special. Something that they thought cannot be imported globally. Again, I understand. And I'm certain there is a Diablo 4 in the making right now. So fast forward to Destiny 2. Same thing happened to me in Destiny 2. I start playing the game and it's amazing. Like I said in my previous video, I already did the Destiny 2 video just after I finished the campaign and I was bewitched by Destiny 2. It was an amazing game for me and I loved it. I kept talking about it. I kept talking about this design, the world, the mechanics and it's so much like Diablo 3. The mechanic, the game, how you play it, everything about it was amazing. But as I kept playing, issues started rising. I started seeing things that kept my eyebrow raised. I was like, seriously? Is this really happening? Now, here's some of my own issues. Regardless of the already discussed issues tons and tons of times, of course, that you can see on many videos, and I am 100% with these guys that are talking about this, especially for the Eververse thing. But some of the main things that kind of jumped into me, I was like, first of all, why am I stuck behind the raid slash nightfall wall? What I'm talking about is, some people do have friends, they play together, others are lucky to find a clan where they get active friends who play together and they will do these things and it's fine. But what about people like me, for example? The fact that I do not have people who play the game with me. I do not have time to go to and reach to a clan or be part of a clan. I don't know, uh, maybe I'm doing something else. Maybe I have a job or something. Uh, maybe I don't have friends altogether. So I am stuck behind a wall where I cannot just go and do the raid with random people. It's not like in World of Warcraft, the LFR system, which is amazing by the way. It's just like you can look for a guild that will help you get through the raid. Or through the raids because there's more than just one raid in World of Warcraft. But I'm talking about that. So okay. There is no such system, no problem. 
you go into the tower and you do not have a global chat you can't communicate with people and i'm like why shouldn't i be able to ask someone in the chat just like in diablo 3 for example i need a power level in diablo 3 and just go into the general chat or the special special group which is uh power level its name is power level and i ask and if someone has the time or is able to will help us get to level 70 faster it's the same why can i not do the same in destiny 2 in game well you tell me uh, you can go to the bungee server and you can go to the fire team section and you will find games there it's such a hard thing to do to be honest yesterday i tried to go to into a nightfall and it took me 45 minutes in order to find a group that was newly formed and join it and um, add the group leader and him added me as a fire team member and then we go and do the nightfall it's such a big complicated thing and i'm used to big complicated things it's no problem for me but there are many people in modern days who are not used to these things they're not used to go to websites in order to find friends or random people to play with and to be honest destiny 2 should be able to have a system that will enable me to play with random people and do the things i need to do i see it it's that beta thing that they have and it never works to be honest i go into the queue and it's infinite queue there's no one and i think it's only for nightfall it's not for raids i'm not certain you can guys correct me in the uh, comments if i'm wrong but i think it's only for nightfall and the problem is not even it's it requires tickets for some example for some weird reason so if i'm the raid guide for example i can go for free and if i am not the raid guide i need tickets that's kind of odd and mind bending to be honest i don't i can't understand this why and then of course you have the eververse problem which the gear you are locked behind and it's all right it's like i haven't reached the wall that wall yet in order to be affected by it so i'm not gonna really talk about it what i'm willing to talk about is the recent thing the recent controversy yet again with all the controversies that happened in destiny 2 they still insist in creating another one so as you can see i'm rocking the black and white colors that's because i joined the dead orbit faction there's this faction wars coming or the event is on that's why i'm in the lost sector in nessus because i'm trying to farm tokens in order to go and submit them for my there's the token you can see it for my current um faction and you get after 20 token you get a purple ingram of course and in it you'll find some specific gear for your faction and weapons and everything and speaking of weapons the first thing first there are no weapons everyone was excited me included but the new weapons in destiny 2 the new expansion weapons that will be in this event there are no weapons so everyone was like maybe it's an issue maybe it's a patch error maybe it's because there is some pressure on the servers or something no 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 we'll get to that in a bit so that's the number one problem number two problem is the fact that they are locking tokens behind time so if you do lost sectors maybe one public activity and two or three lost sectors or two public activities and some lost sectors i don't know how much but it's time related you will be locked out of tokens and that's kind of mind-bending it's so in 
infuriating and makes me mad to be honest because yeah they released a statement about this they said it's for to prevent people from farming 500 tokens an hour and stuff like that and it already happened and it was uh, yeah the problem is so you solve the problem for a limited number in the community that does exploit the game and i'm certain they already found another export it's not public yet but i'm certain they know stuff that we don't and at the end of the day we the casual people who go through the game normally go through the lost sector and try to defeat the boss and like you see in the video you get nothing absolutely nothing now I've included Lost Sectors, me playing Lost Sectors, just for you to see for your own eyes. I was not expecting this to happen, but it happened in the recording. I didn't do much. I really done a minor activity in, on EDZ, and then I went to Nessus because I remembered I had some caches to explode, to destroy in order to get some challenges, some tokens, and all of a sudden, I get nothing. Oh, that's infuriating. I'm the most or one of the most casual people in Destiny 2. And I'm locked out of coins just like that. So imagine if you are a working guy and you dedicate your weekend to get the maximum coins or the maximum tokens you want to in the weekend and you get back to work. It's not going to happen because they will lock you out. And you don't have that much time to begin with. You have like obligations and everything. So how am I gonna be able to get enough tokens? So that, yeah, that's me thinking. And trust me, the community is putting this a lot more accurate and more precise. And they are talking about this issue and it's all in the forums and in the subreddit and everything. So yeah. It's not something that is new or foreign, so I'm glad people are talking about it because it made me surprised. My eyes were wide open. I'm like, where's the tokens? I just finished the lost sector. Is there something wrong? Maybe my internet is not working? So yeah. The weapon on the other side are locked too. And they will release them kind of like bit by bit. One weapon here, one weapon there, which make the whole idea of playing now dumb. Why should I play now when I can wait until the event's last time when it's gonna be up? You know, there's like a week or two when it's gonna be up. When you are certain that most of the weapons or all of the weapons are implemented and then you start your grind. After all, it doesn't matter, you're gonna be locked out the system any day so whether you play every day or you only play during the last period of the event it doesn't really matter because you're gonna get the same amount of loot anyway so yeah it's kind of I don't know man on one hand you have many examples of games that did not do well and you could take them especially since you have destiny one and you have blizzard that came to your studio and talked about this and they told you not to make these same mistakes because people will notice and they will talk about yeah no you keep repeating the same mistakes over and over and i'm mind bended i don't understand why so i understand you want to grab money i understand this is an expensive game but by doing the same things over and over again you are making people not want to play the game and what the most surprising thing to me is the fact that there is already an announcement which is probably not um not official i'm not certain but that it's probably a fact that they are already working on destiny 3. are you serious the game just came out. The game this expensive, and I talked about expensive in my last video. It's colossal. The amount of money one needs to play the game is colossal for us. 
the rest of the world. I know in their numbers they only count Europe or the United States or some other places, but there are other people that want to play the game. Other people in my country. But if you keep releasing a hundred plus dollar games like these, how are we supposed to play our game? How are we supposed to create a gaming community here and thrive? It's... I don't know, man. It, it just like makes me speechless. Already in Destiny 3. The second DLC of this game hasn't yet came out yet. The expansion, quote unquote. Because apparently, if you say expansion, you say less content, not more content in Destiny 2. Because they lock in features for those of us who do not have the expansion pass, for example. So yeah. And now I'm questioning, does my expansion pass is gonna cover the second expansion or not? Right now I'm doubting it will. It's amazing to be honest. So yeah. They announced some fixing, but the fixing is gonna come in fall 2000. Fall 2018. That's a long, long time from now. What's gonna happen between now and then? Is there new content? Or is it just gonna be the same game? Nothing new, just some uh, small random events that are gonna happen here and there, and that's it? Nothing else? I don't know. Makes me sad, to be honest. I've always, always been a fan of Destiny. When the first came out, when the first time the game came out, I was captivated. With the trailers, with the gameplay and everything, I always imagined an FPS game in a Diablo-like universe. Where you find loot, and it's not like an RPG in World of Warcraft. No, it's a first-person shooter, but in an open MMO-esque world. And my dreams came true when Destiny 1 came. Sadly, it had issues. And everyone was giving their, getting their hopes up when Destiny 2. And Destiny 2 apparently came out as a downgrade to Destiny 1, not an upgrade. So yeah, I'm still enjoying the game. It's just like these issues are really putting me off. And if such issues can reach a casual guy who accepts issues, who accepts um, bugs, who will not criticize a game like me then the studio should understand that they have problems they need to solve that's the biggest um how should i say it ending to this video if i may so yeah it's just as usual just me talking about things that happen to me daily and destiny 2 right now is taking a portion of my gaming time and it makes me sad that the game is in this state. I hope it gets fixed. And I hope they start listen to the community. And as someone suggested in Reddit. Maybe. Just maybe. They should get rid of the current game designer. Or lead game designer. And bring in some fresh perspective. Someone else. Who will lead the game towards the right direction. And I don't thing that making the game easier giving more loot to people and everything is gonna make the game less profitable i am certain that people will buy the game more if you fix it just like i've seen in diablo 3 there used to be a time because i played diablo 3 from the begin the beginning excuse me until today i don't play every day like i used to but i still play diablo and I still can see things. There used to be a time when there was like a bunch of people playing Diablo. Everyone left. Everyone was not playing. But nowadays, you would find a good deal of players. And it's a good old game. So it's kind of amazing that people are still playing. But yes, there are people playing. Every new season, you brings in a ton of new people. And everyone is enjoying the game. Same goes for The Division, for example. It used to be abysmal, but the team kept 
working their hardest and nowadays it's a solid solid game i'm actually looking forward to going back to the dust to the division and playing it after the 1.8 update the game is really really looking great and i would like to see the changes and everything so i hope they listen i hope they see the other companies and do like that and uh this has been Yakami, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you are enjoying your day. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.